Hey guys, EA Auto, and today I just picked up a $600 Chevy Impala for my second flip. So let's go check it out. As you can see, there's a bunch of scratches, cracks on the bumper, the badge is kind of coming off. Uh, really bad repaint here over the rust. Foggy headlight. I'm going to be taking care of that. The wheels are going to paint black because they're all peeled. Looks like crap. Uh, just random like crap down the sides. Maybe not scratches. In an accident at one point, so the rear bumper has been changed. As you can see, it wasn't painted very well. Uh, it's kind of popped down in some places too. It's a bit of covered rust here. Just spray painted over it at one point. Man, I think it was side swiped here because the door is really dented up and everything's scratched and stuff. Um, rocker panel part of it's coming out and as you can see there's a lot of rust underneath so, okay, so let's unlock it the key fob works and you can unlock all the doors as you can see the interior is just nasty absolutely disgusting <coughs> Just gross shit everywhere. Back there's just more dirt and stuff. All the doors kind of make this sort of noise. Here you got a nice hat, nice stylish hat there. That's gross. That was disgusting. Got uh, newspapers and then automatic transmission fluid. Just stains everywhere, it's pretty gross. That oh, door's pretty loud. Let's check out the glove compartment. Got some bank shit, oh shit. Mask, 30 mask. And snap. Out of the truck. As you can see, spare tire, gotta put back in here um this thing fell off the trim piece we have a whole bag of like um religious books because like the last owner was a pastor oh yeah and then along the bottom we got a little bit of this all right so hopping in the interior got some nice fake wood here um radio everything works start her up starts right up service airbag tpms light change engine oil soon check engine light service tire monitor system and washer fluid low Fuel level low. I mean, there's a bunch of crap. But he just clears the check engine light and it goes away for a while. So it's probably nothing serious. Seems to be running great so far. Yeah. Knock on fake wood. Uh, the radio works. AC is really cold. Um, as you can see, it's just so dirty in here. It's so nasty. There's a 3500 V6. Not very clean under here, but it's running good. I think it here, the exhaust is a little loud, even though it does have a new muffler on it. So the first of many things we're gonna do in this car is actually debadge it. I'm gonna get to that and then I'll show you guys in a second.
All right, so it's been debadged in the back. Looks a lot better, I think. And on in the front, we took off that license plate holder. So the car is all washed up. Took the hubcaps off, cause I'm gonna paint them. The hubcaps right over here. I'm gonna paint these black. So I'm gonna sand them down and then go ahead and spray paint them. The wheels have been sanded down, painted a few coats. You can see, that's what it looks like. Finish and then I'm finished. I painted underneath, or I painted the actual steel wheel too. So I'm gonna do the blackout on the grill, so I took the grill off. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint this lower grill. Show you guys the finished product. Okay, final coat since I ran out of spray paint. And then I fix a little dent here by like zip tying it together so it's more straight. I glued this thing on. <laughs> The next thing we're going to tackle is removing all the garbage out of this interior. Alright guys, so I cleaned out the entire interior here. And as you can see, there's still some stains which, you know, I might go over that with the stain remover again. But it's overall pretty nice in here compared to what it was. That's a bad stain. Couldn't even remove that. All right guys, so I just went to O'Reilly's, picked up some paint, clear coat, um, some wheel paint, OBD2 scanner, vinyl wrap, little Bondo for those rust holes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get the Chevy done, guys. I got the grill on the bottom painted, put in. I gotta fix it a little bit. So it keeps popping out. So uh, yeah, it's moving along. I used some of this Armor All headlight restoration stuff on the light. Didn't turn out that great, honestly. It's pretty damn foggy. I wouldn't recommend this stuff. Just get the more expensive one. I uh, defogged this headlight. And the other one already looks pretty good, so. Go, nice and clear. I used the same kit I used on my Subaru, the Rain-X headlight kit. I highly recommend this kit. Find it at Walmart. You can use it multiple times, but it still works. I mean, it's a great kit. I'm in the process of painting the back bumper and some of the rust around here. And uh, put two coats on. That's how it's looking right now. It's looking pretty good. And yeah, after that, the car will be finished. Just gotta clean it up a little bit, like clean some of this crap up.